boys welcome back to a brand new video and today we have such an exciting video for you to like I, i'm very excited that this is finally something that's back in the game um i had to make a video on it the second i found out about it uh oh what's that okay that was weird but anyways today we're back with another money making method and it's the best one we've had in a very long time um i'm kind of blown away that they added this to the game after all the strides that they've taken to take it out of the game but either way i'm not gonna complain because it's about time we had it um i'm gonna stop oh my goodness look at me i'm gonna stop wasting time let's get to the auction host so i can explain the first part of this method Ooh, before we do that we got a wheel spin we gotta open up oh my goodness what am i doing here <laughs> great nothing so the first thing you're gonna want to do is head on over to the auction host um grab yourself the sesto elemento i'm currently in mine right now if you don't have one just purchase it i don't think it's super expensive uh, I'm going to show you a tune to throw on it. It's my personal tune. You don't have to use it, uh, but you do need some sort of tune just to make this go a little faster. And the other thing you're going to want to do is make sure all your car mastery perks are filled out just like this. That's going to let you earn the most skill points as possible. So anyways, let's get to the next step, which is the tune. And that's just going to be on the screen for you right now. You can pause the video, do whatever you have to do. But now we have to go to the event lab and then we'll open up event blueprints. And what you're going to do is you're going to search for a code right here. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you a recent code right here on the screen. As you can see, it's the 139. I don't know. You can see it right there. Pause the video if you need to. Launch it up in solo. Make sure you select your Sesto Elemento. And now this part's important. Under difficulty settings, you want to make sure your steering is on auto steering. Shifting, put it to automatic. Uh, I didn't used to do this. It doesn't really matter. It just makes it more more brainless and easy for you to do this and then back out make sure it's all saved and then you're pretty much just going to start up the race and hold down your trigger and what this race is going to do for you is since you have auto steering on it's going to keep you on the line that's going to break all this stuff in your path i don't know why forza has yet to change this one all the updates they've done to the game this isn't something they fixed it's going to get you about nine to ten skill points with this exact setup every single time and those skill points are going to be important as i'm going to show you in just a bit here but anyways, do this race a few times, and when you get to this screen, you can either restart, it's still gonna save all your skill points, or you can do what I'm gonna do, which is continue out of it. Again, if you restart, it's not gonna erase the points you got in the last race, it's just gonna allow you to keep stacking them up, which is the beautiful thing about this method. And as you can see, they're counting up along the top there, all the way up to nine. It, again, it's nine or 10, because you get like nine and a bit every time. Ooh, another wheel spin, you know we have to. Hey, hey actually that's not too bad 175k if you're watching the video shark boy the answer is no so now once you're back to the festival with your desired amount of saved up skill points honestly i personally recommend save like save up like 200 it's not very hard to do like i can't imagine that take you more than 15 to 20 minutes save up about 200 skill points and each of these cars i'm going to be showing you costs about 50,000 to purchase head on over to the car pass now this week forza decided to add a brand new friend to the game and that's the x power svr i don't i don't know i guess it's the brand's mg i've never heard of this car in my entire life though but that being said i was showing it off at the beginning super cool drift car but there's something that i'm a little more interested about so if we're gonna go ahead and purchase one um i already have one but you can purchase as many as you want very easy to purchase them from this screen and then if you head to design and paints and then you actually get into your car from this screen uh, if we can find MG, what's that start with an M? I, <laughs> I guess. Uh, you're going to skip the new car cutscene animation. Now, the terrible, awful, horrible thing that Forza did by adding this car to the game. Actually, get cover that after. Anyways, upgrades and tuning, car mastery. And as you can see, this is just like how the Porsche used to be. You purchase all these. There's your super wheel spin. There's your regular wheel spin. I think it's just 11 or 14 skill points total. You don't even need to get the normal wheel spin. But now I'm going to explain the super horrible thing that Forza did. So if you don't know, uh, there's something in this game you can purchase called the car pass. And what the car pass is, is they add cars like every week or every couple weeks to the game. But you can only use those cars if you're a part of the car pass. You can purchase the cars individually, which is what I recommend you do with this car. I believe you can. You used to be to in horizon 4 I, I don't know about this one i have to imagine it's the same and it's like three bucks but anyways forza added this car to the game as a dlc only car right here as you can see so pretty much forza is now paid to win um <laughs> which is crazy to say but unless you spend money extra money 
on their game. You can't get as many wheel spins as someone who has. It's kind of really weird, and I don't understand really why they took the wheel spins off all the cars and then added one with the wheel spins we wanted, but now you have to pay for it. It's kind of a step in the wrong direction, if you ask me. But anyways, that's kind of how it is, and it I don't know. I, I don't like that. I think that's a stupid thing that Forza has done. Anyways, though, if you are able to get your hands on that car, get as many wheel spins as possible, save about 5 to 10 million credits, and then do what I'm about to show you. Also, I didn't know the AE86 was in the festival. I'd recommend buying that because that's going to be like a $5 million car in a couple weeks. So there's a free $5 million car for 600 points. Anyways, now we're going to go to the auction house and you're going to search auctions and there's a couple cars I want to show you that if you're going to purchase them, they're going to hold value and make you more money over time. Kind of auction sniping. I made a video a couple days ago on this. Anyways, our first car here that you're going to want to look for, it's the V2 right here. But you want to make sure you don't have your bio price any more than 4 million because this car is eventually going to go up in value to 20 million. And if you search right now, you might see some people selling the car for 20 million. But what it actually sells for, let's take a look in my garage because I have a few, is only 2.1. They're legendary tuners. I can make a video explaining how they do that if you guys want in the future. But pretty much you don't want to be searching for any more than 4 million because the most these sell for at the moment is 2.1. They will go up to 20. And then the last one you could be searching for here, it's kind of the opposite end of the spectrum. If you're able to get any of these right here, uh, I'm going to say no more than 3 million. Sell them right away. You don't want to hold these at all. These are already going up over 20. But you probably want to auction snipe just with this filter right here. I imagine a good amount are coming up for... 3 million anyways what i also want to talk about is i kind of want to pick up the series we started a little while ago on uh, our alternate account doc prox something i can't remember but i want to pick it up again where i was trying to get to maximum amount of money on that account without having legendary tuner because obviously the reason i have so much money on this account is because i'm a legendary tuner which means i can sell any car for 20 million so it didn't really mean the same thing when i hit the maximum money because i kind of did it like a week into the game it wasn't very hard to do, but if we did it on the second account, I feel like that would be kind of cool. So I kind of wanted to pick that up again. I know you guys really enjoyed that series back in December when I was doing it. So if that's something you guys want to see, let me know down below. Anyways, that's kind of going to wrap us up for the end of this video. Hopefully, I've helped you guys out in some way, shape, or form. If I have, let me know down below with a comment or a like, and I'll try to reply or give you a heart on your comment if you made it through to the end. Anyways, thank you for watching, boys. That's going to be all from me on this video. As always, we'll see you in the next one. I'm a, a boys. <laughs> wow, this car actually drifts so well.